Hey everyone, today we have three YJ Tian Yun cubes, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they come in a one, two and three. So one's being the easiest and three being the more complex one. So let's have a look inside. So here they are. You can see the first one looks pretty simple. Kind of just these centers rotate around. Second one, very similar, but you'll notice these kind of inner edge pieces also move. And the third one is a similar mechanism to the first and second, except looks like it's a two by two as well. So let's have a quick play. Um, they do also come with instructions, if anyone's curious. So there is a method on there of how you would solve them. I would kind of say these are aimed at people um, either just for collections or a beginner who wants to kind of look into different cubes and use these as like a progressive way to develop any skill levels. And this third one looks like it could be quite interesting. Um, hopefully I'll be able to solve it. We'll soon find out. So the first one, it does have these edge pieces, but they're hidden behind the actual frame itself so this one should be fairly easy to solve let's have a go okay that seemed too easy maybe it needs a bit more mixing up okay no that is very easy indeed so uh, quite a young beginner maybe is getting into things. You could keep going and try and solve these pieces that are hidden, but I think that is where the next stage cube kind of comes into it because those are visible. So if they're not solved on this one, probably doesn't make much difference. On this cube though, those are going to be visible. So let's have a go at number two. Let's see how complex this one is. if I embarrass myself a bit. Okay, so I wonder if you have to do the edges first and then the centers. So uh, I'm just gonna try the centers first and then see where we get to. So that one's orange and yellow. Sorry, white and orange even. So white and then orange. Hmm. More complex than I thought. It's orange. Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> Have we got it? No. <laughs> Still not got it. Okay, so I'm either being really stupid or it's a little bit more tricky than I thought. So we need blue and red. Okay, so blue and red. Red. And red and white, and these bits aren't right, so... Aha, there we go. So not too bad, you could probably keep messing about and figure that one out. And the third one. So this is going to be the same, but it looks like pretty much a 2 by 2 as well. These pieces will be hidden behind it, but... I think my OCD would have to get these solved as well, so let's give it a scramble, see what it looks like. I wonder if... Let's try to figure out if these corners turn any of the edge pieces as well, so will this orange and white turn with this side? Yes, so doing the corners will actually turn some of the inner pieces as well as well as turning the center spots as well. So I'm gonna try and solve the two first. Has been a while. Oh, 
let's see if I could do a geoperm on this. Oh. Just. So that's the outside solved. So the centers will be quite easy because we don't have this um, inner edge exposed. But you could keep messing around with that if you wanted to do that as well. I'm not going to because I think it might take me too long. Or because, yeah, because these corners also turn so blue and white. We'll be now in blue and white up there. So it's probably going to take me longer than I think to solve them. So you can get all three of these from Cubes UK. Uh, they're around four or five pound, depending on what model you get. If you use discount code Duke, you also get another 5% off those as well. Like I say, pretty easy to solve, but they are a nice little collection. Uh, if you're into collecting cubes, or if you just want something easy to play with, or if you've got somebody who's relatively new to cubing and they want something they can kind of figure out and slowly develop uh, from stage one into two into stage three. Uh, any comments, uh, let me know.